kind of a myth out there, I think, that, that Japan is a very closed nation. That's not really true. Japan is probably just as open to the gospel as, say, the United States. People are ready to receive Jesus if they hear. I'm Andy Miko, and this is... Jun Miko. And we're located in Tokyo, Japan, uh, but we are serving actually in kind of a lot of places. And what we're about is discipleship and mobilizing people for the gospel. I grew up as a missionary kid in Japan. Saw all the need there when the Lord really got a hold of my life was actually in college. My dad was dying with cancer. I started seeking and reading my Bible. And God started reminding me of the need in Japan over and over. And I knew he was, he was calling me back. Originally, I came to Burke Community Church. Uh, it was uh, 1986. My brother was a member of the church. He knew about the church looking for missionaries. I flew all the way across the country to come and visit, and I got commissioned at the church. You guys sent me out to Japan. Japanese people are afraid to talk about God with friends because the culture is make harmony, but we want them to talk about what Jesus did on their lives. And then people start speaking about God, we believe it will change. Interestingly, um, we use a Japanese manga comic to help kids share the gospel. We have that in 30 languages, and now particularly we're using it in the Islamic world. That's pretty exciting seeing kids in a lot of Islamic countries reaching their friends. Children are open and then also open to share, not so many words like adults. Kids are the most gospel-ready uh, demographic. We're eager to see kids not just come to Christ, though, but the Treasure Hunt Project is to mobilize kids to reach kids. It's a joy to empower other people to lead their friends and family to Christ. That's like, that's like the biggest, yeah, that we can get. 